Keys is me with a microphone here. Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming to check out this video. We are officially a quarter of the way through, I think. I think there's 12 tracks on Hardwired Self Struct. I'm not going to check. We're here with the reaction to Moth Into the Flame. Now, this is the studio version. Obviously, I've done the SNM2 version, but you know, I wasn't really paying attention to the songs so much, more what was happening in the video. I think I was getting a little bit distracted by it. So I'm going to focus all my attention on lyrics and the song in general. So, you know, it, 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 it should be a little bit different. But here's the question. What the hell is this song about? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's go speak to James. James said, Moth into Flame is pretty literal. It's an obsession with being famous, being popular, whether it's your Facebook account or, you know, walking around the street, watching someone doing selfies of themselves, you know, as they're walking down the street, like, what? What are you doing? I think the next generations coming up are more aware of things and accepting of things around them. The main inspiration for that was the Amy Winehouse movie, Amy, where she she got brainwashed in a way. She started believing. There was one scene that really, really disturbed me when she was leaving her flat. She's walking out to go do something and the paparazzi are all over her. Hey, hey, Amy, how are you doing today? Hey, how's your friend? Blah, blah. And hey, 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 hey. So it looks like it's about the dangers of being famous. Uh, okay, cool. Let's should we just crack on in to the song? I think we should. We've got a lyric video here. Hopefully it's not black for all of the instrumental parts. If there are, I'll put some, uh, I don't know, bowls of cereal on. Like I did, because I didn't do that last time. So maybe I'll just use bowls of cereal this time if I need to. Oh, we've got the album cover, that's cool. Woo! Nice, that's a cool little riff. That's a cool little hook. I like that. The riffs in this song so far are oh, super meaty. I'm looking forward to learning this for my live streams for sure. The intro kind of reminded me a little bit of um, like Ride the Lightning kind of esque. So that's cool. That was a short verse. So I get the idea that when he's saying, uh, you know, you, you sold your soul to become famous and you were really popular for one day, but that was yesterday. Now you're thrown away. There's nothing, you don't, it doesn't matter anymore. So you've been seduced by that fame 
and you've got all this attention on you, but then all of a sudden it's just completely dropped. <laughs> This song just feels like it's got a lot more energy in it compared to uh, Now That We're Dead. How old is that? <laughs> All the bass in the back there, in the back there. Cool solo. Nice harmonies. I always love a good harmony. I love that stop. That little stop before the, the hook of the song is really, really cool. One last, one last, little, one last little hurrah. Nice. <laughs> That's very cool. I don't think I really took in the full uh, experience of that song during the SNM2 uh, version of it. I think I was far too distracted with the actual video itself. But being able to focus in on the song and then the lyrics as well, that is the my, that's my favorite song <laughs> so far. I, I was vibing with that the entire time. From worst to best so far, I would say that now that we're dead is at the bottom, then it goes hardwired, then it's Atlas Rise, and then at the top, Moth into Flame. On repeat listens of now that we're dead, I do enjoy it more than the first time that I heard it. I think it was because it was too, it was so different compared to what I had already heard, and even that song as well, that it kind of just took me out a little bit. But on repeat listens, I am gravitating towards it a lot more. However, that song is so good. Moth into Flame, I can't wait to be able to play that on my live streams. That's gonna be so much fun to play. So the next song is Dream No More. I have no idea what that's gonna be like, so we'll find out on Tuesday. So come back on Tuesday for that. What do you think of Moth into the Flame? Let me know in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun talking to people about <laughs> Now that we're dead, I release videos every Tuesday and Wednesday. Most of the time it's a reaction video, sometimes it's a cover, sometimes it's a clip from uh, my Twitch channel, which I do every Wednesday and Sunday. I play guitar live for like three hours. On Wednesdays, it's at 4 p.m. BST time. On Sundays, 3 p.m. BST time. Why it's different, I don't know. So, you know. You figure it out. If you would like to support me, I've got Patreon. You can become an official good boy for as little as $1 per month. There is a little bit of tax on top, but that's not to do with me, okay? I set it at $1. 
Blame Patreon. I have merch. It's here. I have t-shirts and mugs. The mugs are really nice. The sh t-shirts are very soft. You can get my music at starcomermusic.com. You've been hearing it in the background during the intro and during this part here. It's, it, you can get it all for free if you like. There's three albums up there. Hopefully a fourth soon. Might be the beginning of next year, but we'll see. We'll find out. Here's a list of all my patrons and Twitch subscribers. And here is the outro screen. Thank you so much for watching. There is a playlist to the rest of my reactions, as well as a video that YouTube is recommending to you specifically. Stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. And wear a goddamn diggly face mask. Okay.